Tonight, a warning for any parent who has a camera in their child's nursery. Hackers posted pictures of a stranger's baby after they tapped into the family's nanny cam. Adam Bennett tells us the three things you need to do to protect your family. Control where the camera is looking. It's supposed to let you keep an eye on your kids while you're away. But in more and more homes, you're not the only one watching. Yeah, I wouldn't want just anybody having access to be able to look in my daughter's room. A risk that's very real to digital forensic investigator Gary Hustis. He's the one answering the call to help people when they think they've been hacked. Unfortunately, it's too common. He says that's thanks to better, cheaper technology putting more people online and more victims for hackers who can move the camera around, post pictures from your child's bedroom, eavesdrop, and even talk to your child. Yeah, if you don't know it's happening, it can go on for weeks, months, years. And experts say protecting yourself starts from the moment you plug the camera in and turn the camera on, no matter where you are in your home. Houston says the most important thing you can do is change the camera's default username and password. He says you also want to check at least once a month for software updates and look out for anything unusual, like too many failed login attempts. No, I hadn't heard that, but I probably would do that now, now knowing. Leah Furbank says she uses the monitors for peace of mind while her eight month old daughter is sleeping. I'm personally not that concerned. I mean, I and it's not nice, but I think, I think there's. For me, there's bigger concerns, and I think the benefits of having a camera outweigh the kind of the risks from something like that happening. Still, many parents say better safe than sorry. In Houston, Adam Bennett, KHU 11 News.